was in a data set. Now, what is data set? Data set is like a packet of information or data which is defined. Okay. And suppose I am pulling out a data set for demographic, which is called as DM. Okay, DM uh, here, if you can see, DM is equal to demographic. So those DM, DM data set will have all this information for all the subjects I have entered so far. They have their subject ID. They will have these variables as column headers. Okay, am I making sense here? You can just stop me, okay, yes. if you want. Okay, fine. So what happens, just visualize your data set in a Excel sheet with rows and columns. So all these variables will become my column headers and all my subject numbers will become my rows. Okay, so for 001, this BRDTH C is this, okay. For 001, the age is this, column B2, like that, okay in the excel format this is how we receive because otherwise it will be too difficult to analyze so we call them the entire process as crf annotation who do that crf crf programmers do that for us vs data manager we don't do but we we should know how to read it how we have to approve it we have to make sure that all the um crf annotation is done correctly and Either it is using industry standard or something if you have your own preference for your industry, we all capture that. Okay, in simpler words, it is used to map the data entered in front end to back end. So if comes a question in your interview, what is your annotation and you want to you know answer in a very simple word, you just have to say this is a map which is used on the data entered to move it from front end to back end. Okay, simple. Just make sure that you're putting map somewhere, front end somewhere, and back end somewhere, and we are good. Okay. Industry standards like CDIS, SDTM, etc., followed and provide name, length, and format in each data field. So SDTM stands for Standard Data Tabulation Module, which is given to us as like an industry standard, which will tell us what should be the name, what should be the length, and the format in which you will be receiving that data is already provided to us. We just have to get it implemented. Okay. Any questions on this? I'll move forward. Um, yes. So I just want to make sure that I understand exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, please. Uh, the, the, the difference between front end and back end. Mm -hmm. So front end is what you see on the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, and back, back end is what you submit what is submitted is that true no back end is what you're receiving oh what you are receiving okay. okay not submitted submitted is in the front end because you have entered and you're submitted okay suppose okay. you have to enter your name you hit, the moment you hit save that is submitted okay. now that has to transmit and come to yes. us sitting on yes. the crf annotation in a tabular format mm -hmm. which we call as Receiving in the back end receiving. Okay. Okay. All right. I got it. Okay. And you understood annotations, right? Yes. Okay. Fine. Good. And this is one of the example. Mm -hmm. uh, just the, this DM page. Suppose mm -hmm. if um, I have to do CRF annotation for a physical exam page. Like in this previous model. In this, we have this physical exam. So... For industry standards, um, physical examination or vital sign exam, because we are collecting vital signs here, your BP, your heart rate, your respiratory rate, your height, weight, okay? We use annotations for this as VS, which stands for vital signs, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, suppose in my physical examination form, one of the field is height, okay? And I want to get it annotated. So I will write it as um, either height or it, if I want to annotate it, it could be VSHGHT, which will tell me that what data set it belongs to mm -hmm. and what it stands for. Okay. Yes. Because we are so much in practice going through all those data sets. Now we have memorized mostly most of the annotation. But you, uh, as an individual, nobody has to memorize these. 
okay it's not like you have to memorize oh no everything will be given to you very told where which we call as um annotated crf it's like a 